I was thinking about something. You notice all of Anthony Joshua's losses are to professing Christians. Andy Ruiz, Alexander Usyk, and now Daniel Dubois. It's interesting. I remember seeing an old video, I believe it was with Anthony Joshua's sister, and I believe she was praying a Christian prayer. I think somewhere along the line, AJ might have drifted. Just because you're fighting in Saudi Arabia, don't pick up their ways. Don't follow any other belief system. Follow Yeshua. Follow Yahweh. Yahweh. You won't go wrong. AJ can come back, but this is deeper than just having a, a, a game plan and a great trainer. He has to be right spiritually. He has to be right in here and in his mind. And the only true way to do that is to follow the Most High, Yahweh, Yeshua. You might not be familiar with what I'm saying out there because uh, I'm using the Hebrew. But that's what needs to happen. I repent of my sins all the time. AJ, repent of your sins. Come to Yeshua. Might not lose another fight. But even if you do lose another fight, you won't lose your soul. So I hope you see this video, AJ. Still my favorite fighter out there. You know, there's something about the name Yeshua. You know why that is? because he's the word now I'm sure a lot of platforms don't look at things like that you know not everything is technical when you fight you fight with your spirit too your spirits on the inside of course and it drives the outside what's inside is more important than the outside I always compare it to a product in the grocery store. You don't just look at the outside packaging and and uh, declare it being good. At least I hope you don't. It's what's inside the package. What good is a beautifully decorated uh, grocery item if the inside is just no good? I was watching Teddy Atlas, and he was saying, skill always beats will. And... Not all the time, but most of the time, that's true. That's why I get tired of the saying, styles make fights, styles make fights. That's a cliche in boxing we hear all the time. I always say, more than that, hearts make fights. Because uh, what good is your skill if you ain't got the heart? And AJ's got a lot of bravery. I just want him to turn to Yeshua. If his sister's watching this, if his mother or family, talk to him about it. Don't get caught up in the ways of the people you're around. Don't get caught up in the Muslim stuff and the paganism. Don't get caught up in all that. But AJ can't come back. A lot of people think after losing one fight, he should retire. And I would agree with you. But then we'd both be wrong. It's the Jay Roos theory. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe, LSR forever. And when you follow Yahweh, Yahweh, Yeshua, you can live this life and walk it fearlessly. Be fearless. Yay.